let us begin here on this recovery trip of trying to get the people's houses returned from the criminal enterprise known as the Hallelujah Scriptures. Let's take a look at this real quick, and I want to just make sure that we have this noted. This is the Business Entry Information Record Service, New Jersey. Business Gateway, Hallelujah Scriptures, nonprofit. We have Adele Horvath as an agent. They are identity theft on this one and identity fraud. I wanted to also put that the um, president, Robert Liu, even though he may not be the trigger man on this, unfortunately he is the president and is allowing this to happen under his hands. So he needs to be very, very careful what he's doing with this woman because she's extorting an enormous amount of people and um, she's paying off a lot of people as well. Now, this is where we need to go right here. This is Hands That Help and the Orphan Feeding Program, and this is Great Books. Now, Great Books is a what they call a DBA, which is a doing business as, and um, it takes us to where we need to go to our next little part here, which is right here. Um, this was on 829 that the Hallelujah Scriptures, one of their accounts, had a balance of 403805 in it. Now, this is um, very important because on this date right here, September 14th, 2022, Hallelujah Scriptures began to extort money again from people when they did this transfer drive, begging for help. And I went over other videos in this. And you guys can refer to those if you don't know which one I am talking about. Now, I wanted to put this into detail because we have September 14th when they are extorting people's cash. But now, because we know their name is Great Books, we were now able to go and get the deed to the property that they just barely bought. And let's take a quick look at first... On the day that they bought this, Great Books, on September 9th, 2022. Now, this is the signature for Mr. Jameson Burrell. And I believe he was another pawn that was being used by Deborah Weiss. And so she had and has all these people that are never her signing on. Now, let's take a look at this and let's read what this says exactly. It says, Tax... Proportion por, proration agreement. We the undersigned herein here and after refer to as buyers and sellers, whether one or more, of the property known as or located at 302 Columbia Road 220 Emerson, Arkansas 71740. Now, Deborah Wessel or Weiss is not extremely smart. She sent out pictures in another newsletter that I was able to link up and figure this whole thing out. Everything that I'm figuring out is by the hand of Deborah Weiss or Wessel and her inability to run efficient criminal operations. She's just doing a lot of mistakes. Let's take a look at this. Who is this? They do hereby agree to the tax proration used at closing, which is based upon the prior tax year. Assessed valuation and tax rate, as this is the latest information available, buyers and sellers hereby acknowledge that they have been informed of the adjustments. The taxes have been prorated up and through the date of settlement, closing date, accrediting the buyers and debiting the sellers. Further, the buyers hereby acknowledge that they will be responsible for the entire tax bill for the calendar year, current tax year when it becomes due and payable, and all years thereafter. Buyer and seller agrees to hold national title and escrow LLC. Its agents and employees harmless for any adjustments or non-payments of taxes. Um, so Francis Susan White on September 9th executed that side. This side was signed by Jameson Burrell, who is the who was acting in the paperwork of Hallelujah Scriptures. We have that. Now let's take a look at what they exactly did they buy. They bought this. Here's the file number. It was repaired 9-6-2022. So they were planning this scam and all of this before they shook everybody down. Right? This is already prepared. They had already done this. 
So 9-9-2022 is when they, um, they, got, they, they sent them the money. Look at this. Look at the sixes here. You know, this is incredible. There's 666 everywhere in this thing. That, that's it for another time. This is the location. This is where they, um, their bank, I guess, Little Rock, Arkansas. Property address, 302 Columbia Road, 220 Emerson, Arkansas, 71740. Buyer. Great books, 661A Cranberry Crossroad, North Brunswick, New Jersey, 08902. Francis Suzanne White is the seller. This address is linked all over their paperwork to absolutely everything. It's a public address. This is all, they're a public company. This is why they can't hide this stuff. Titled by National Title and Escrow, LLC, 17709 Cantrell Road, Little Rock, Little Rock Arkansas, 72223. There's their phone number. Escrow officer, Mr. Justin Vent, did this. How much do the Holy Scriptures rip the people of our Creator for? Okay, the sales price of the property. So they stole $231,000 that they drained off that $400,000 that you guys saw earlier. So they had plenty of money to purchase this house and move all their stuff and beyond all of this with no problems whatsoever. But yet they went and did another ruse, another hustle. Another scam. So here's the prorations. So they ended up paying $574.56 for the taxes. Government recording and transfer charges, $30. Bucks. Um, revenue tax stamp. Um, stamp tax is this. So their total that they paid was $232,373.15. And instead of letting everybody know that they just bought a brand new building that they could house their Bibles in, they shook everybody down and they stole a whole bunch more money. Let's continue on. This is the domestic wire transfer for them. This is the absolute proof. Initiator, uh, Stephanie M. Martinez. Uh, prover's name, Emma M. Capitaliti. Wire amount was $235,000 on the dot. There it is. There's your 13 pieces of silver right there, folks. That is the smoking gun. And um, let's continue on. Customer's bank code. For anybody who thinks I'm breaking privacy stuff, I took out everybody's account number, so nobody needs to worry. Okay, so it went from that customer name, Hallelujah Scriptures, and it went to these, there's their account number. It, needed, it went to National Title on Escrow. There's their account number, 17709 Cantrell Road, Arkansas, Southern Bank. Okay, so this is that, and they have... Uh, these are the wire instructions. Okay, now, now this is um, more stuff on here. I don't know what this is exactly, um, but the city of Vineland, six forty East Wood Street, tax collector. Don't know what that's about. Um, this is the wire instructions that we just saw. So that's what they just executed a little bit before that. A couple of these are out of order now because I. This is about the end of my paper trail, on this particular subject. Um, this is their FedEx. I don't know where they sent this to exactly, but this is all part of their stuff. So there's the uh, there's their stuff. I don't know where it was going. Who did we send it to? Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, nothing there. Okay, so this is, oh, this is actually a little bit out of order. So this is over here. So this one... We have this forwarding address. I don't know what all this stuff is. This is for rich people to buy houses. This is out of order, but then this one goes right here. This is a little agreement and stuff that they are, uh, I guess, when they're buying this stuff or something. And um, 11 and 12 property that Stuart, blah, 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 are without knowledge. So there's no... Uh, there's no existence of manufactured homes or anything. It's just like the legal stuff they have to go through, I guess. So anyway, it was signed on the September, what, 7th? Or I think that's the date. 2022, Jameson Burrell, Burrell, Vice President. Um, he was Vice President of Value Scriptures at the time. Company, great books, great crimes as well. Great books and great crimes. So that is all evil stuff they have and so this was done by uh, state is Virginia County of Frederick and um, this is about the end of this so 
Notary Public, they notarized this. This theft was notarized before our creator himself so that this could be exposed at a later date. And this is the final thing that they agreed to. And um, Mr. Jameson Burrell, Vice President, signed this. And again, I, I think he was just acting as um, these guys. These guys just get trapped. They completely get trapped. They get owned by Deborah Wessel. They think they're doing the work of our creator, but they don't realize that she is extorting people for orphans, widows, and lepers. And along with Bibles, along this woman has a uh, <laughs> princess die stuff. I mean, this lady has enough scams. It's just, it's just an enormous amount of scams. So, as why wrap this particular video section up in this segment, they did buy a house. They did spend enormous amount of money. They did steal this amount of money from the people of our Creator. And then, to top it off, to make everything so much worse, at the same time, remember, because they had this money... And when they bought this house, all they did was drop this down two hundred thirty-five grand. They would have had a ton of money left. They could have moved all of their stuff, but instead of this, they decide that they don't want to bag. And, or actually, they do. This is what they say. If we have to beg you to help, we will beg you on behalf of the Father and on our knees. We are very tired from the attacks, and most of the team are working up to 18 hours to get this done. The Father is calling his people to help and see who will fight for his word. You know, this is, um, this is extremely sick. This entire thing is extremely sick. And the amount of donations that come in from the hands that help... And the hands that help you and all the other little orphanage names. And I figured out, I, fi we, I have a lead on where they're coming from. We'll expose this here just a little bit as well. And so there's other websites. They don't just run this amazing grip from Hollywood Scriptures. They've used Hollywood Scriptures to double down and double down and double down until they have just an enormous amount of amazing stuff going on. So this is it. I will wrap it up with this. These people had... Tons of money that were stolen from the people, right? This poor little company that's just so broke. They had nearly half a million dollars sitting there, but it wasn't enough. And instead of praising our creator for delivering them a building that they stole, which they they just continued on stealing more money. And that's where greed ended up taking these people. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.